This is a different version of stuffed peppers. I'm Tess, and tonight I'm making Sloppy Joe stuffed peppers. You are going to like these. Stay tuned. Stuffed peppers are so good, and you can stuff them with about anything. You can use vegetables, meat, seafood, grains, beans, or cheese, and make them any flavor profile that you like. Tonight is Sloppy Joe Stuffed Peppers. I'm starting by making the sauce. I have some ketchup and I'm adding in some tomato sauce. Worcestershire sauce, apple cider vinegar, and you can use red wine vinegar, and some brown sugar, giving that a good mix. This is going to be the sauce for the Sloppy Joe mixture. In a pan on medium heat, I'm adding in about a pound of ground beef. I'm cooking until no longer pink and chopping into small bits. My ground beef is not too fatty, but you may want to drain off any excess fat. Next, I'm adding in some finely diced onions, celery, because I like the taste of celery, half of a seeded jalapeno for a little heat, and this is optional, some chopped sun-dried tomatoes that were packed in olive oil, salt, and black pepper. Cooking and stirring for about two to three minutes. Now I'm adding in my minced garlic and some tomato paste. Cooking and stirring for a minute and then adding in my sauce. I'm adding in a little water to thin the mixture because this is going to simmer for about 10 minutes. It is really smelling good in my kitchen. After 10 minutes and when the sloppy joe mixture thickens, Remove from the heat. I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I have three nice bell peppers that I cleaned, halved, and removed the seeds. I'm scooping and evenly dividing my sloppy joe mixture into the bell pepper cups. Just do the best that you can. I'm adding about a quarter cup of water to the bottom of the pan to help steam the peppers. Covering with foil and baking at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, and then I'll come back and show you the next step. It's been 30 minutes, and I'm topping the peppers with some grated cheddar cheese. The stuffed peppers are going back in the oven uncovered for another 15 minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted. And here they are. The Sloppy Joe stuffed peppers are done and smelling really good. You can serve these with potatoes, pasta, or rice. A side of corn or peas would be nice also. Tonight, I'm serving with a garden salad. The bell peppers are nice and tender, and the sloppy joe filling is delicious. The cheese is a nice creamy touch. I hope you try these sloppy joe stuffed peppers. The kids and family will love them. Enjoy! If you like this recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Steamit, Facebook, and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!